Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 27th, 2020. So yesterday, more record highs. S&P 500, SPY, stretching its lead to the upside, pushing uh, these trends on higher. The NASDAQ reaching up for new record highs. But today, we have a deluge of data, and it'll be interesting to see how the market perceives this information this morning. So how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have a big day of information and a lot hanging in the balance. First off, um, let's take a look at the technicals here in the charts and let's notice that what we've got going on here is just absolute bullishness. There is nothing in these charts right now that suggests any bearishness. A beautiful upside trend holding support levels in the chart um, looking really good. Now the diamond yesterday had a little bit more of a Oh, a little bit more of a resting pattern, I should say, but there's nothing bearish here in this chart. We tried to move down a little bit, but the bulls picked this back up. And honestly, a little slip slide over here toward the trend um, appears to be a very healthy pattern for the market. Now, let's take a look. We ha do have resistance above here in the Dow's. We continue to contend with resistance levels in the chart. We also want to keep in mind here at the end of the month, we have some big shakeups happening in the Dow average with n some companies being kicked out and some new companies coming back in. So as we approach the end of the month, we've got that going on and we have a big day of data today. So um, our technicals here are very, very strong. We're, we're very bullish in this trend. Nothing in the chart itself that suggests bearishness. Okay, let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, new record highs yesterday, stripping um, right on high, stripping these um, old highs out and just following on through without any concern. Um, bulls riding the wave here to the upside. One thing I do have to say though, is that we are becoming quite stretched out. This is our fifth straight day up in the SPY. So just that alone, we should have um, that obvious concern that at any point in time, profit taking could come into the market. We're kind of stretched in this rally to the upside. And this morning, as you can see, we have just a little teeny tiny bit of bearishness showing here um, in the market as we wait for this data to come out uh, this morning. But so far, everything in this chart is very, very bullish. The only concern is maybe we're just a little bit extended here. If we take a look at our moving averages, there's nothing in here that suggests bearishness um, at this point. And even if we were to pull back, we have a good solid level of price support. So even if we were to pull back into here, we could still hold this trend. We could hold that price support and just find that next level or that next entry point for more of an upside move in the market. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ, very much the same situation. Um, one of the things that was interesting yesterday is there were a few stocks that really stretched big time to the upside. Uh, for example, Netflix. Um, this really comes off as almost an exhaustion move. Um, everybody that was going to buy bought yesterday. And that can be a little bit of a problem when we start seeing those big spikes like that. But that being said, um, NASDAQ really held up extremely well, setting new records um, once again in the market. And um, seems to be also a little bit on the stretch side here. That would be the only concern that we have. We are obviously so far above that breakout of um, last uh, or earlier this year. We're so far above that, we have to at some time assume 
that um, we will pull back. But right now, it doesn't seem to matter how high some of these tech stocks go. There's a, a it seems to be an unlimited supply of capital willing to chase uh, those trades higher. So really strong moves here in the market, stretching to the upside in a big way. And the bulls definitely in control here on the spy. Let's notice that this morning we are just opening, well, at least at the moment, just kind of flat right in there. Maybe a little teeny tiny bump higher um, in the composite, but we do have the Dow looking lower this morning. So a little bit of back and forth here in the market as we wait for this data and then we have iwm now iwm was not impressed yesterday um pulling back just a little bit in the chart and iwm there's nothing wrong here iwm holding price support still holding within its trend but it just wasn't all that impressed yesterday um in the overall move up the financials kind of struggled a little bit yesterday oil sector kind of struggled a little bit yesterday and that kind of um, gave a little bit of a pause here in IWM so let's keep an eye on that but there's no bearishness here in this chart yet we do have resistance that we're trying to deal with and it's possible that this consolidation is just leading up to that next potential move higher that consolidation that slides over to trend notice we did that same thing right here just kind of drift over to trend and then we got that move up so drift over to trend perhaps we're just uh, building the energy to pop through that resistance and push on higher so bulls still in control here in iwm let's take a look at the vix now i gotta tell you this is the perplexing there's a couple perplexing things going on in the market we're setting new record highs in the spy and the queues and yet we saw fear spiking up in the market yesterday so we bounced right off of that level of price support that i've been talking about which happens to be right there at the 500 day moving average we just cannot seem to break that down and it's interesting to me that as we're stretching out and racing to new record highs fear just can't seem to go away in the market so that is a little bit of a concern here for us this morning let's keep in mind that we keep tightening up this wedge in this chart um, should we get some kind of a bearish move in here it wouldn't take much to spike us up pretty substantially now remember i don't i never believe that we're just going to shoot up like this in the vix if we break a downtrend and hold it as support that's where the real selling will come into play if we cannot break it back down but so far a little bit of a concern right here in this um in this chart when we saw fear spiking up and if we look at vxx which is kind of the consumer uh traded vehicle for the vix also that spike up yesterday in the afternoon um, let's take a look at a 15 minute look at that short term run to the upside uh, before the market closed yesterday fear coming into the market so a little bit perplexing here overall Let's take a look at a T2101, and this is also one of those perplexing things. We see the market racing to new record highs, and yet we see our overall, our absolute market breadth collapsing. Um, kind of an interesting situation where we see that major pullback in market breadth as we're setting new record highs. Also, a little bit of a concern that we need to be paying attention to in the market. How much longer we can maintain this condition of pushing those tech stocks higher. They're the ones doing the majority of the lift. Doing Pushing those tech stocks higher with market breadth continuing to decline um a situation that should certainly keep you on your toes and watchful for that potential bearish attack that could come at any time let's take a look at t2122 which is the four week new high new low ratio and you can see four week new high new low ratio we actually saw a pullback yesterday so as we got new record highs in the spy and the queues what this is showing us is by and large the majority of stocks were still sliding sideways or down yesterday so new record highs in a select few stocks pushing the markets up 
Kind of a dangerous situation if you ask me, and one that we just really have to stay focused. It's not a time to become be complacent in this market. We really need to stay focused and we really need to stay on our toes here. Um, we could certainly uh, continue that uh, price action that we're seeing right now and push this on higher. And if the Powell speech really resonates with the market, we could definitely see those bulls really come in um, driving this market even higher. However, if he kind of misses on his target, um, with market breadth being what it is and, and those kind of things, we could certainly see um, that push to the downside. So anything is possible here today, watch that pretty closely. How about we take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we've got quite a few things that we're gonna wanna be focused on other than just the Powell speech. First off, we have, doggone it, I just keep picking up all of these extra windows that I have open. Um, as you can see, um, GDP uh, numbers coming out today. now here's another thing that just is really perplexing um, we're riding a wave of fed spending and government stimulus and as you can see the consensus for today is for a negative 32.9 gdp now i can tell you in the history of my trading 30 years of trading i don't think i've ever seen new record highs in the market when our entire national production is coming in at a negative number of <laughs> any size, let alone this size. So pretty remarkable. Now with the consensus kind of matching the prior, if it comes in a little better than expected, we could actually see that inspire the market higher. Um, let's watch that closely, but that GDP number is gonna be interesting. It's remarkable to me that we are ignoring our production in this country um, and just um, piling into the market riding the wave of um, stimulus. Um, let's take a look. Um, we also have jobless claims this morning. Now jobless claims um, did see a little bit of a pullback last time, a um, little bit of a draw, a, you know, little improvement, and we're expecting a little bit more of an improvement um, this time. So let's watch that closely here this morning. If those jobless uh, claims continue to pull back, that can also inspire those bulls. So both of those come out before the market open. We're going to see a little bit of tossing around in there. Keep in mind, we have a Fed speaker here at 9. And then the big speech at 9.10 from Jerome Powell. All eyes are going to be on him. The Jackson Hole Symposium will be online. And um, the world seems to be holding its breath, waiting for um, whatever he has to say about inflation and what the uh, what they are going to do. Let's keep in mind we also have pending home sales and a natural gas report. I don't expect that to move the market around any at all. Everyone's going to be focused on Powell at that point. And then we also have um, the um, Fed uh, balance sheet, which everyone knows is just running rampant. Uh, they're buying everything in sight. So keep an eye on those key elements this morning. Um, could be a lot going on with that today. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And if we already haven't had enough going on, we've got our biggest day of earnings reports this week. So um, let's keep an eye on some of these. We've got some a pretty big day in retail. Um, Dollar General reporting this morning. You can see it's gapping up already. Um, must have had a good report this morning. Um, Dollar Tree is reporting today. Um, unfortunately, it seems to be going the other direction, pulling back Dollar Tree. Not so happy. We've got the Gap stores. They are reporting this morning. Uh, looks like no report here yet. Um, by the way, if, if you're new to my channel, TC2000, this little triangle right here, shows me the bid-ass spread. Um, of the market here before the open so I can kind of see what's going on in the market prior to the open. Um, but kind of a uh, flat here so far on GPS. We also have Marvel. Marvel will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We have VMW, VMware. 
will be reporting today. We have W Day on the list for today. And this thing soared yesterday. Um, uh, folks racing into this stock ahead of earnings reports. Um, kind of an interesting situation. FLWS, 1-800-Flowers, um, also reporting this morning. Looks like they're gapping just slightly higher here this morning. Um, so if you want to get the full list of stocks reporting this morning, um, go to the blog. And if you look in the, um, just right below the title of this video, you'll see another line and there is a link there that will take you back to the blog. Um, and you can get the entire list. Um, HPQ also reporting today, um, one of the bigger texts that we'll wanna pay attention to um, in the market today. Let's take a look at, um, stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could please do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos also if you feel that this video was worthy if it was um, uh, useful to you please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. It helps the channel continue to grow. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. Um, it means the world to me um, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up. And I added quite a few, um, quite a few alerts yesterday um, in the market. One I wanna point out uh, right away, and one that I already own, so I have a little bit of bias in this, is Disney. I like this pattern in Disney. Now, I don't want to um, make anybody believe that this is the move that um, could take this to, to new highs. Um, what I see here is a nice bullish pattern, okay? And I do see that possibility. We held this support, we bounced off of that support, but I still, still see that possibility that this could continue to consolidate over to this trend before it can finally make this move. So I'm watching this. As a matter of fact, I was really thinking about adding to this trade yesterday. Chose not to just because I'm a little bit concerned about all the data coming out today and how the market may react but this morning as you can see Disney looking good looking to open about where it closed we do have resistance in this chart to deal with but let's kind of keep an eye on that Disney coming back around as a possible upside trade take a look at STZ I've mentioned STZ a couple of times STZ looking pretty good you can see I have a price alert on this chart one of the patterns that I always look for is I look for a stock that has broken its downtrend, held that downtrend as support, and I see buyers stepping up in here to pick that up. That would be an entry signal for me. And then every subsequent move after that where we respond to price support and trend is a potential entry. So we moved up here, slid sideways over here toward the trend. We have the bulls trying to push in here on STZ. And I would be looking for a move up in here, just nothing major, but moving up into that next resistance level in the chart. Five, six points higher um, looks possible in that chart. So keep an eye on STZ. You might also wanna keep an eye on Costco. Costco setting up, there's that pattern again, where we push up, we hold a resistance or support level in the chart. We slide ourselves over toward the trend. So I place an alert right here waiting for that next potential pop in here. Costco may be ready to move on up. And by the way, Costco is a blue sky high as there's really no resistance up above. So keep an eye on Costco. KHC um, is an interesting chart. And that this is one of those old fuddy-duddy defensive type stocks. Um, it has really enjoyed a, an incredible rally because of coronavirus and people stocking up on packaged foods. And as you can see, 
uh, KHC has spent quite a little bit of time going sideways here, consolidating after breaking out of resistance right here. If I pull this back, this is a pretty significant breakout of resistance and holding that level, holding this trend. And as we move over here toward this trend, what we want to do is we want to be watching as we tighten up this wedge, we want to be watching for that next potential move higher. So keep a close eye on KHC, looking pretty good. It's a good divvy payer too. If the market starts to falter a little bit, that dividend yield could be um, enticing to folks to just want to uh, buy something uh, for security and safety and hold into that chart. So keep an eye on KHC. Mosaic also doing quite well. Mosaic looking good. Moved up sharply in this, in this stock. Now I placed a trend line here, but the honest truth is that trend line, I don't know where that trend line really is. Where The way I'm going to know where that trend line is, is if we finally break resistance. So could that come today? Yes, we could pop on through here on Mosaic. We could also stay in this little consolidating range for just a little bit longer, kind of bouncing around in here until we find that inspiration to pop on higher. So keep an eye on that. Just realize my trend line here is not set in stone. Kroger made a nice move yesterday. I placed an order to get into Kroger, but honestly, I missed the trade. Um, I was trying to negotiate a little bit better entry and ended up not getting filled. Now, that's okay with me because once again, what I want to point out here is how much Kroger loves to respond to its trend. So here's that little pattern again that I showed before, breaking the downtrend, while rallying up, holding it as support, and then we start these subsequent moves. And notice how we tend to move over to trend. So we slide on up here. We got a good pop yesterday, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if this continues, this consolidating move over here toward the trend before it goes. So if you choose to get into this trade, make sure that you give this trade enough time, uh, particularly if you're an options trader, give it enough time to make its expected move in that chart. So hey everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. Thanks again for watching and please make sure and click that subscribe button and those thumbs up buttons. They help me out a ton. Everyone take care. Have a great day. Be safe. Remember we've got a big day of data so stay focused and flexible and I'll see you all right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day everyone.